So we went filthy. to a few open houses, like on the Saturdays, like did the whole run around all day. I met Liam at one, and I gave him a ring the following. He left me a message. I, I rang you back. You that day, I think, yeah. yeah, and he said, you "What are you call looking for?" Tuesday. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "What are you looking for?" And pretty much exactly what we said. The next day, we went to the place. We're like done, putting an offer in. Fantastic. That so was it. you gave Liam an idea as to what you're looking for? Yeah, we just said we want something not renovated because so many houses had the renos redone. Yes. We didn't want that. So and I think a lot of people didn't really take us seriously as well. well. Like we were, well, like we had um, bank approval done. Like we were ready to buy like now. Like and a great deposit too. Yeah, we had um, 50 grand deposit yeah. for a house. Oh, good on you. And a lot of them were just a lot of, yeah, we've got this, we've got this, we've got this, and just never eventuated to anything. I didn't find the communication skills with a lot of them. Right. And then after that, did they continue to work with you or that was it? That was it. Dropped like a bag smell. Yeah. Based on how you were worked with as a buyer, yep. who would you choose to represent you if you were to sell that property? Definitely love completely. Like, we, have, we you call us at 8 o'clock at night, 8.30 at night. Because we've, it's mainly because I was lonely, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Ross could be calling you like four times a day. And you'd be like, yeah, it's all good. So I'll go grateful. Through. The most grateful... You guys have just been so grateful about the whole process. It's awesome. And so we've had pretty bad experiences with like the rental that we're in. So we were immediately a bit mm, when going into buying a house, or a bit like we don't trust the yes, real estate where we live. Once bitten, twice shy. Kind we were of kind thing. of like, here we go again. But it was great. Like you were transparent the whole time. You weren't feeding us bullshit, which was yeah good. It was a nice relief. Did you consider the state of the market before you decided to buy, as well as? what was happening in the rental, or was it just the rental? Um, well, obviously, getting to the point where we've been living together for a while, and it was time to take that next step, mm. so we actually put off our wedding to save money to buy a house this year, like that was our, Smart. Smart. Yeah. Yeah. our plan. Yeah. We just felt like, so Liam took care of us so well, like, you were just completely honest and open, and it was like, there was no stress really involved besides getting things on like deadlines, we were like, ooh, but other than that, like, we felt respected. It didn't feel like a real estate, like a, your general idea of what a real estate is. It didn't feel like that. It felt like we're more of a partnership rather than us just coming, we want this, we want this, and just being a bundle. It was, we felt like it was a partnership between like all of us. Yeah. Well, you're a love yeah. family member for life now. You, Yay. Were, you and Ross. Got my hand. <laughs> <laughs>